Hey everyone, Joe here. Let's talk about how we can set up a reverb on a bus in Pro Tools. Now when I talk about setting reverbs up on buses, I mean putting them on an effects bus and sending the track to that bus, which is then sent back to your output. Now that of course is instead of putting the reverb directly on the track itself. Now why would we not want to put the reverb directly on the track itself? Well there are some cases where you might want to do that, but normally uh, it's best to put the reverb on an effects bus because firstly it means that once the reverb is on an effects bus you can apply that to any other track in your mix using that one instance of the reverb plugin. Um, this saves on processing power, it also means that you can make changes to the reverb across the whole mix just from one reverb plugin rather than having to go into each individual reverb on each track. It also means that when you've got the reverb on a separate bus, you can make little changes, you can make edits to the reverb itself. So for example, if I put an EQ after the reverb on a bus, it would only EQ the actual reverb itself rather than the, audio, the original audio on the track. So let's have a quick listen to this cello part. So it's very dry, we want to get some reverb on there. Now as I said we could just slap a reverb directly on there, but maybe I want to use the reverb on multiple tracks, or maybe I want to make some little edits to the reverb sound. So let's create a new track, I'm going to go to the track menu, click new, or you can use a shortcut if you'd prefer, I'm going to create one stereo aux input track, it's very important we select that. Create. So here we go, we've got that there. I'm going to control click the S, so that's always on. And then we're going to select a bus input that's free. Let's just go for 125 to 126. And then the output is going to be going to your main stereo output. So let's give it a name. Let's say strings verb. And then we're going to put a reverb on that auxiliary track. Let's go for Waves H reverb. I'm just going to pick uh, one of my presets. So that's on bus 125 to 126. Now we want to apply that the cello. So in the sends column, if you can't see that, if you can't see that sends column, then go to your columns menu and make sure you've got one of these two checked. Now let's find that stereo bus and we're going to be sending the cello to that stereo bus with the reverb on. I'm going to start by putting that onto zero, onto unity gain and you'll see when we play the cello it's now sending that to the string reverb bus that we created. Now then what we can do is we can use that slider for the send and adjust how much we are sending to the reverb which will in, in turn adjust the uh, amount of reverb on the track. leave it around there. It's a nice ambient piece but we can always make adjustments later on. So then like I said we could put that on other tracks for example if we sent the piano to bus 125 and 126 that would also go through the same reverb and then we could just make changes to that reverb and it would affect both the piano and the cello. Then I could also put for example an EQ or a compressor if I wanted to and just affect the actual reverb sound and not, not the original audio. So that's how you set up a reverb on a bus in Pro Tools. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment below and I'll reply. And if you want to see more Pro Tools and other editing and mixing tips, then just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.